the asset in 12 months will be worth closer to 8.5 to $9 million in literally 12 months, creating $3 million of equity that I have forced onto the asset. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create millions of dollars in your property, literally for free with a stroke of a pen. So what if I told you that there was a way that you could add hundreds to millions of dollars of value to your commercial property by forcing growth on that asset with just a stroke of a pen, it was totally free. All it actually takes is the knowledge and skill to identify the property before you buy it, come in with a value add strategy plan and then execute it over a certain period of time. It could be 12 months, it could be six months, it could be the next market review, but you can literally add huge value. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions of dollars to commercial assets by just a stroke of the pen, totally free. So the big secret to doing this is being able to identify the property before you buy it. So if you're looking at an asset, and this takes knowledge of the market, it takes a lot of time to do, it may also include talking to valuers, talking to other people about the market rates. It may also include doing a lot of research in the market, whether or not you're buying a straight up commercial asset like an industrial retail or office, or you're buying a specialized self storage asset. But all you need to do is understand the market rates. So if you can understand exactly what should be being charged per square meter or per self storage unit in that market, and you can identify a property that is significantly below market rents. And that difference between the market rate and the rate that they're actually charging in that asset is the money that the current owner is leaving on the table, okay? And all you would need to do once you buy that asset is literally in the next market review, if it's a traditional commercial property with yearly rent reviews, if it's a self storage facility, literally the day after you take over the asset, as long as that tenant has been there for the one month of their lease or the one month of their agreement, then literally on day one, you can start moving the rates up, manipulating the prices and creating huge value in that asset. I'm currently doing this right now with a self storage facility that I have under option for $5.7 million. All I'm doing is increasing the rates. I identified that they are so below market rent, it was ridiculous. That was the huge discrepancy of, of money that the owner was leaving on the table. And all I am literally doing is moving up the rents over time, making it a better business, making it more automated. And the asset will be in 12 months will be worth closer to 8.5 to $9 million in literally 12 months, creating $3 million of equity that I have forced onto the asset. That's the big difference with commercial property and residential property investing. In commercial property, I can force value onto the asset. In residential investing, you are waiting for the market to make you. You're speculating that at that time, you're gonna buy something and then in five, 10 years, it's gonna be worth a lot more. A good professional commercial property investor comes in with a plan, they figure out before they buy the asset how they can force value onto the asset and then they execute the plan over the set period of time. They recycle the cash out, get it revalued, recycle the cash out and then take that onto their next project and they continue to hold the original asset. And that's how you build a massive portfolio of commercial assets. So I'll give you a quick example of this on how $10,000 can create huge value into, in a commercial asset. It's just a calculation. That's what I'm talking about. It's super simple to calculate how commercial property is valued um, using the capitalization rate income approach. I've done a video about that as well. You might wanna check that out. You can literally calculate what the value of the property will be by just using simple calculation. So in this example, we're going to be buying a $500,000 warehouse. It has a square meterage of 300 square meters of net lettable area. The current market or the current rent that they're charging for this property per square meter is $100, okay? Now that equals $30,000 of net income that they're receiving for this property. That means that if you divide 
$30,000 of net income by the purchase price, $500,000 that we're in a market cap rate of 6%. That's what we bought this property for. Now, through your research and understanding of the market rate per square meters, you've spoken to a few agents, you may have used CP data or you've checked a few different uh, rentals and you know that you can increase the income or you can increase the rate per square meter of the property to 150 because that is the actual current market rate. Then now in the example, we have a $500,000 warehouse that still has 300 square meters of net lettable area, but we're actually charging $150 for every square meter of that property, right? So it's only $50 extra per square meter, but it's still really significant. So now when we do the calculation, we're getting $45,000 of net income from this property. So it's a $15,000 increase on when we purchased it. So when we do the calculation on that, 45,000 divided by our purchase price, which was 500,000, we've turned this property from a six cap into a 9% yielding property. Now the difference between cap rate and yield is that cap rate is when you buy and sell, yield is what you actually get when you actually own the property. So there's a bit of a difference there, okay? So now this property is a 9% yielding property to you because you actually own it. But the cool thing is when you get this property revalued, they revalue it at the current market cap rate, not the yield that you are receiving. So they'll still be valuing this at a six cap, which is really significant here. So now when they do the valuation, it's 45,000 divided by 0.06, the capitalization rate of the market. So that actually gives you a new valuation for this property at $750,000. In a short period of time, you have forced $250,000 of capital growth onto this asset just by knowing the market rates just by increasing the square meterage from $100 to $150 per square meter, you have created $250,000 of value in that property for yourself that now you can refinance, you can take that out and you can use that for another deposit to buy another commercial property. If you'd like to have a play around with this yourself for your own personal situation, I do have a free download on my website, which is my value add calculator. It's in a bundle with the cash flow kit, which is totally free to download. You can check that out on my website. Okay, so now you know how to add significant life-changing value to commercial property for free. You might wanna know exactly which sector is the absolute best sector to be investing in, doing projects in uh, right now in today's market. You can check that out in the next video right here and I'll see you next time. Bye.